What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a walk-by transition in Vegas Pro 15. Now yes, I'm starting off my tutorial a bit different compared to usual, I'm actually holding the camera, and the reason for that is because I'm not going to be doing, say, a walk-by transition, instead I'm going to be using my hand to do this transition. So for those that vlog, you should definitely give this a try as well. All you'll do is get your hand and wipe it across the screen. And just like that, the white balance on this is terrible. I'm in a new location, but it's super simple effect to do. And you should definitely give this a try if you vlog. So here we are in Vegas Pro 15. Now, of course, you have just watched the intro, except I haven't watched the edited version yet simply because I'm going to edit it for you right now. So here it is and as you can see it was shot on the same clip, I didn't stop the recording, I just kept recording. Um, so here we go, so first clip here where I just did the intro and then I wave my hand across like that. Something important to note which I didn't say in the video, you want to make sure your hand takes up the whole screen or at least like that so it means uh, top to bottom is covered by your hand or something because you can even do this effect with a car um, Basically anything that goes past the screen So all I'm going to do is go to the part where my hand is just coming across and a gap appears here So right here All I'm going to do is zoom in press s on my keyboard to split it right there. I'm then going to come across and You can see my hand goes off screen just here so I'm going to press S on my keyboard again, and there we go. Now I'm going to right click and insert a video track. I'm going to right click and insert an audio track. I'm going to drag this underneath. And then this second clip here, I'm going to drag this underneath like here. Here we go. So I'll just line this up to here, just like that. So this is now the part which is going to take time, but it's all the effect is. So this top video clip here where the hand is, we're going to come to the pan and crop. And I recommend you expand this out. And we're going to be masking. So select the mask so it's enabled. Then you want to make sure you are on the anchor creation tool. Zoom in. And basically anything on the right side of my hand, I'm going to be um, cutting out. So this means anything like the background that is showing, I'm going to cut out. So I'm going to left click and lay down these points and then I'm going to connect back up so everything highlights yellow and select it again. Now from here we're going to be coming up here to the left where it says mode and changing this to negative. And this is all it is and you can see straight away the other part has started to show. Now another thing we're going to be doing where it says feather type we're going to be selecting both and we're going to bring this up. So you can see it just softens it out. So I'll leave mine there and then we're going to left click here again, press right arrow on our keyboard, right click, reset mask, and now we're going to do this. And this is going to be the entire process. So this can take some time, depends how quickly you waved your hand, and of course it depends um, how many frames you have to do. For example here, I have 43 frames to go through, and I'm not going to show you all of it in this video, but of course I need to complete this in order for this to be the intro of this video. So what I recommend you do is simply put on some music and yeah, I'm going to fast forward all of this. So all I'm going to do is put on some Post Malone. And there we go. 43 frames completed. I think it took about 10 minutes. It wasn't too bad in my opinion. Um, yeah, just as long as you have music, you're good to go. Anyway, now it's going to be my first time watching this through. I'm going to go skip, skip, skip. And as you can see, it's pretty sick. Now, moment of truth. Let's see how well this has turned out. So I'll play it through. And it's going to lag. So I'll turn down that preview quality. Okay, that seems pretty good. Let's just, uh, uh, what's it called? RAM preview it. So for those that don't know how to do it, get up your render regions, which are these yellow dots here by double clicking. Highlight the area and press Shift and B. And what this essentially does, it RAM previews it, meaning when you play it back, it will have no lag. So I'll play it through. 
and you can see that worked pretty good so now you'll notice um, when I go through it goes back to this the reason for that is because this little clip is here we can delete that it's not needed so now I'll play it through you can see it looks pretty good and it's super smooth so that is it it's super simple um, make sure you do feather it does make a massive difference in terms of the masking you can see it smoothens it out so it's not all rough edges um, one thing I didn't do which I should have done right from the start is right click the video properties and disable resample this does get rid of any ghosting that occurs so you can see it looks a lot better like that but anyway that is how you do it and it's super simple to do, just take your time on that, listen to Post Malone and you'll get this done very quickly.